Hello everyone, thanks for dropping by. Sorry I'm really late today as I've had several jobs to do and I've only just finished them and I've got to go out in a bit so I've got to make this video a short and sweet one. For a start, that's the Audi 80, the flagship. I think it looks better than the S-Class Mercedes and it shows that Audi are more forward thinking than Mercedes are. Anyway, enough of that. As you know, the marriage industry and the dating industry right across America and the Western world is in terminal decline now, and it's had an exponential drop. I found this over the weekend. Decline of U.S. single men seeking dates, a trend analysis. Factors such as reliance on social media and online porn, as well as changing dating pref preferences, including... Many young women dating older men contribute to the decline of single men's involvement in romantic relationships. And if you go down, the influence of social media, particularly dating apps, has accelerated the issue of fewer viable men for relationships. It has shifted the way people meet and connect. And this is the kicker. Women are much choosier than men when it comes to dating, resulting in a lack of opportunities for single men. The decline in the rate of single men looking for dates could lead to a decline in household formation and decrease in the middle classes. And the reason why this is happening is this. Women can divorce you without marriage. Changes in divorce laws and the rise of common law marriage can lead to unfair consequences for individuals, particularly men in relationships, and could potentially lead to the decline of marriage and relationships as a whole. Now it goes down, divorce laws involved in the point where women can technically divorce a man even if they were never legally married, based on the duration of cohabitation. Hence MGTOW, don't cohabit, don't marry and certainly don't get a woman knocked up. Changes in the law regarding common law couples living together have led to situations where individuals can be forced to pay alimony even if they were never married or living together. And as a result, global fertility rates are declining and Italy's rate is down to 1.25 kids per woman, which could have significant impacts for the country's future population. Now, many men face unexpected consequences in their relationships, even if they don't currently feel threatened, as most women enter political office and centre create laws that punish males. Now, the re reaction to all that is this. There are now more unmarried women than unmarried men in America. And this was done on 7 se September 2023. This is the overall ratio of unmarried adults in the United States was about 90 men for 100 women. The 30 to 34 age group, which is their prime working age, had the highest ratio of 121 men to 100 women. You could say that those guys in the 30 to 34 age group have seen what effect the divorce industry has had on family members and friends, and they decided they're not going to go down that route. So that is the MGTOW effect. And then in the article, the unmarried population includes people aged 18 and over who are never married, widowed or divorced regardless of their sexual orientation. Ratios of unmarried men and women matter because people in romantic relationships select a pool of eligible candidates available to them, often called the marriage market. The ratio of unmarried men to women isn't the only factor that affects finding a mate. It's a critical indicator of potential mate availability among those interested in opposite sex partners. And then we have several graphs various things in America, with Alaska naturally being the highest ratio of unmarried men to women. 
and then it goes down the racial groups rise of unmarried men to women by age and then it's the similar to what was at the top there labor markets on Unma unmarried ratio of men and women age 18 over by race and hispanic origin and state depending where you are in america and then we got various articles but this is a growing trend right across America and they're starting to get worried about it. These are the key insights and the reason why is women can divorce you even if they're not married and take off your stuff. Sorry it's a bit quick this one people but as I said I've had jobs to do and it's getting on now it's almost three o'clock over here in Britain so I naturally put these links below this is just something I more or less threw together to make a video so sorry it's a bit iffy I'll see if I can find anything more on this for next week but for now you know the routine like dislike etc it's completely up to you so until next Monday that's it for this one bye bye